So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an SVG graphic in using the LibreOffice Suite and Inkscape. So right now I have um, some LibreOffice programs up right now. This is Calc, which is comparable to the Excel spreadsheet in Microsoft. I also have um, Impress, which is the PowerPoint slide uh, version. And I have Writer, which is a uh, Word document uh, program. I also have Inkscape um, already uploaded. So I have some data here uh, that I pulled from UNICEF. So I'm just going to select it and go up to Insert and Chart. So I'm going to make a bar graph in this example. I'm going to add my title and subtitle here. Okay. So the next thing you do um, is you need to copy and paste this into Writer. So I have it selected right here and I'm going to right click and go to copy. I'm going to pull up Writer and paste it. And now that it's in Writer, I'm going to go up here and say export directly as PDF. I'm going to save it under here. So now it is saved as a PDF. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to pull up Inkscape now. Come on. I'm going to go over to File, Open, and I'm going to pull um, open the PDF file that I just created. I'm going to say Clip to Media Box, and I'm going to leave it Internal Import. That's, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So you can see this is how the graph looks. Um, it's too much. So the first thing I'm going to do before I can edit it is I'm going to save it as an SVG file. So I'm just going to go up to File, Save As, and as file type, I'm going to use SVG and hit Save. And now that's an SVG, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And I'm going to throw it into um, Impress. And I have a slide here that says Graph Without Editing in Inkscape. So you can kind of see um, this is basically what it will look like. And you are able to expand it. But this is basically what it looks like with no edits. And once I edit the graph, I'll put it here so you can kind of look side by side. So the first thing I'm going to do in Inkscape is I'm going to delete the white um, background, the white layer. Uh, so I'm going to select this one and go right click. I'm going to hit cut. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So as you can see, that border just disappeared. So now when I um, copy and paste this graph back into Impress, 
it can lay over any sort of designs or watermarks that you would have um, for your poster. So the next thing I'm going to show you is um, about the text. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make all of this bigger. Um, if I just tried to change the font size here, let's say to 20, you can see all of the letters would kind of smush together. They don't, they aren't spaced out. And the same thing would happen um, if I tried to make the font smaller, um, all of the letters would be spaced out a lot. So um, because of that, I'm going to just replace all of the text in here with my own um, word text. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And if ever I want to move something, I just go back to the cursor at the top and I can select and drag. Because this one is sideways, I have to delete it one by one. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording now, uh, just because this is a little tedious. And I'll turn it back on once I replace all of the existing text with my own text. All right, so I've replaced all of my text. Um, there was a few things I wanted to show you. So um, in order to change the font, you can just um, select your word text and um, go back to the edit text object and then go ahead and enter in your um, font that you want and it will change. This looks a little small to me, so I'm going to make it a little bigger as well in the font sizes right here. So I'm just going to increase that to 12 and that looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this. And for these ones, I'm just going to go ahead and select them. And I'm going to select, hold down the shift key and select this as well and just hit delete. And that, I think they're all replaced. Okay, good. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how to rotate text objects. Um, so for example, previously the word percentage was on the side right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it. I'm gonna go up to object and then transform. They do have a quick option here, rotate, um, I believe it would be counterclockwise 90 degrees. And you can also do this in transform under rotate and just say 90 degrees and hit apply. And it's right here. Again, I do think this text is a little small, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger. Um, there, that's better. And now I'm just gonna move it up. And I'm gonna move these text objects. Oh, just kidding.
And it doesn't matter that they're not exactly even because um, there is a way to align everything. And um, I'm going to show you that right now. So under, um, we're still under transform. We have the transform sidebar open. Um, down here is align and distribute. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And first, I want to align all of these so that they're all um, even at the very top. So let's say this is where I want my label to be. It's kind of right in the middle and it's at a pretty good height. So I'm going to have this be my first selected. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select my other um, countries. And under align, I have first selected as my option. And I'm going to select this one align top edges. So when I click that, you can see, wait, I didn't do it. There we go. So everything is level now to the very top edge. I do think these are a little small. I'm going to go ahead and make the font size bigger for these as well. Um, let's see. Okay, that's better. And now I'm going to change the alignment so that they're all, or I'm sorry, the distribution so that they're all sort of spaced out evenly. I'm going to select um, this one distribute centers equidistantly horizontally. Oh, they weren't selected. Again, I'm just holding the shift key down and selecting these. And so now it looks, it looks um, like it's spaced out equally. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing um, over here. I think I want to bring this one up a little bit more. And this one, bring it over. And Let's see. Nope, not that one. There, that looks better. And I'm going to zoom out and just do the same thing over here with the numbers. I'm going to pick the first um, object and kind of place it roughly where I want and then just select the others to have them all fall in line with the first one I selected. You can also choose last selected biggest object and you can choose different ways to um, anchor your alignments and your distributions. So let's see, just going to leave that right there and go ahead and select the rest of these. And then they all sort of fall in line. Um, okay, so the spacing looks pretty good there. I'm gonna move this in a little bit closer. And I want this word to be center with this um, line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this line. If it'll let me. There we go. Sorry. Perfect. So now it's aligned with the horizontal axis. Um, I'm going to do the same with the title. So. 
actually going to There we go. All right, so I finished my font in aligning and distribution edits. Um, I ended up making the title a little bit smaller just so it fit better with the rest of the graph. And I anchored it so that everything was aligned on the uh, on the vertical axis so I used this option right here and um, so I had it aligned that way um, the next thing I wanted to show you was how to change the colors of the bars so underneath I'm going to go under to fill and stroke and I'm going to select let me zoom in a little bit and select my first color. And as you can see, the RGB um, numbers pop up when a color is selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything that's this color by holding down the shift key. And I'm gonna change it to um, the Toro University Nevada School colors. Um, so for the yellow, the colors are 253, 200, and 47. And for the blue, they are 0, 81, and 114. So these were some of the basic edits I wanted to show you in Inkscape. Right now, I'm going to uh, just copy this and put it in my Impress. Where'd it go? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save. And I'm going to go back to Impress and select Insert Image. And here's my image right here. It's still the SVG um, format. So it's right here. Um, as you can see, it has the full size document um, pasted. I'm going to crop that uh, just by right clicking on one of the squares and going up to crop right here. So I'm just gonna fit it right where I wanted it. And that is it. So now I can move my image anywhere. Let me zoom out just a tiny bit so you can see that because I removed the border in the very beginning, um, when I lay it on top of the design, it is see-through. Again, this might not look great with this type of design, but if you do have a watermark or different sort of colors, it looks a lot more seamless um, instead of just, you know, being copied and pasted from your spreadsheet program. So that is it for some basic edits with Inkscape using LibreOffice Suite. Thank you.